Hello. This video is one of a series of lectures for the distance education course entitled Woody Landscape Plants, a component of the Prairie Horticulture Certificate Program. This is the second video on organizing and making a dichotomous plant key. This is the top portion of a sample plant key that shows how dichotomous keys are organized. When you see a number like a unique number like this on the right hand side, it means that there are more choices to make before you can identify the plant. In this case, number three is direct on the right hand side is directing you to two possible number threes on the left hand side, such as you see here. Either leaves buds alternate or leaves buds opposite. If you select leaves buds alternate and follow the key along to the other side, you'll see it goes to a number four, which is also a unique number on the right hand side. Only one can occur on this side. This tells you that there you have not yet identified the plant and there are still more choices to make. In this case, you have two possible number fours on the left hand side because it's dichotomous. Either leaves simple, in which case you identified it as poplar species, or leaves compound, which means that you still aren't done because you go to number five and so on. If you look at the other uh, number three that we were directed to earlier, you'll see that it, it uh, directed you to leaves buds opposite, and this then directs you to more choices uh, to number six. Now notice it's number six because that was the next number available in the key as it was being constructed. And number six will just simply direct you then to two possible choices in number six, either compound leaves or simple leaves, and so on. So this is basically the, how the key is constructed. Now back to our the, the table of information that was shown in the last video. We're now going to use this information to actually construct the key. We had six different plants that we were trying to build into the key. And you may recall that there were three with opposite leaves and there were three with alternate leaves. So let's build in, start building this key from this information. And what I will do is go back and forth between this table and back to the key as it's being built. So you have to sort of go back and forth. So the first choices you have to make are in this particular key that we're going to build will be that either number one that leaves are opposite or number one that leaves are alternate. So those are your two choices. There's your starting point. If it's leaves opposite, we can then we realize that there's more than there was more than one uh, choice of leaves opposite. Therefore, we have to then take it to number two. If we go back to our table of information, we realize that we actually had three different plants with leaves opposite, and so we had to go down and break it down a little further before we could differentiate the the plants and distinguish them from each other. We found that if we went to leaf type that we found there was one that has opposite compound and two that had opposite simple. Well, for the one that's opposite compound, we know we basically uh, can't go any further. There's, it's unique. There's only one like this, so that will be, it, be built into the key right away so we can identify it. The other two, the two opposite simples, we still have to go further than that. And we will show that. So in terms of leaves compound, we've gone to number two and we have to have two choices of number two. The first was leaves compound. We knew that was smooth sumac. And now the other possible choice was that leaves were simple and we knew that we had more than one choice so we have to go to another number on the right hand side. In this case, we'll put in number three and that will lead us to the two choices of opposite simple and they are ways of distinguishing these two are possibly through leaf shape. We have ovate leaves for dogwood and elliptic for burning bush. Now these could be a little ambiguous, it could be a little similar, so just to be sure we can go on and, and actually take another characteristic so that we can build in one, more than one characteristic to make sure that we can differentiate the plants, just to be absolutely sure. In this case, we could say that one choice will be ovate with white fleshy fruit, the other will be elliptic, with a capsule that splits to reveal an arrow. So if we follow this in our building our key, one choice, number three, will be leaves ovate, fruit white, red osier dogwood, or leaves elliptic, fruit of red, reddish, reddish arrow, winged euonymus, or burning bush. 
So we've built that part of the key. Now we can go back to our table and sort of follow the same process through with the leaves that are alternate. So here's our three plants with alternate leaves. And we know that there's more than, there's three of them, so we obviously will have to keep going with the key beyond what we have already. So we know that we're going to have three choices, so we have to at least to go to another number to start breaking it down into further choices. So we have number four uh, as the next number. So let's go back to our table and say, okay, we have, we've, we've got to make choices now. We have to have two choices uh, of number four. One will be alternate simple. And again, similar to the last case, there's only going to be one of these. So that means we will have identified that one already. There's two choices of alternate compound. And now we can start looking again at what are the, the characteristics that can differentiate these two. Uh, we will look at that. But first, the leaves are simple, then we know it's going to be common nine bark. The leaves are compound, we still have to make a choice. We have those two choices that I mentioned, so we have to go to number five. So there'll be two number fives to look at. <coughs> One of the ways of differentiating these we look is a possibility of leaflets, but there is overlap between these numbers of leaflets, so that's not a clear cut one, so that's not good enough. So we have to go further, and in the end what we will do is choose Flower colors are the same, so that doesn't work. So in the end, what we will choose is the fruit type that goes along a little bit with the leaflets, although they are overlapping. So we can now build that into the key as first number five, 13 to 23 leaflets, fruit a dry brown follicle, false spirea. Or 11 to 17 leaflets, fruit round, red, fleshy, showy mountain ash. So what we've done is taken the, the six species that we had and all the characteristics that we identified for them and we've now built a key from that and you can see if you look at the key you can see there's six species in the key and you can see that it follows along again that you've got two number ones choices and then you, one the first one went to number two which gave you two choices of number two one of those choices was actually a, there was only one like it so it could go right to smooth sumac the other one with leaves simple meant that you could there was more than one with opposite simple leaves so we had to go to number three there was two choices we had leaves and we put in the key that the two choices of number three was one was leaves ovate fruit white leaves elliptic fruit or reddish arrow so we could identify those and so on down the way so that's how basically it works